Hey, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Meadows Financial Channel. I just got off of work, got home, and I was thinking all my videos have been about cryptocurrency. You need good credit, all right, in this life, all right? If you go in crypto, whatever, you want a nice place, you want a nice car, you know, um, basically it feels good to have good credit. It feels good to keep up with your credit and you go apply for something and you're gonna get approved, all right? It's a game changer, all right? I'm, a little backstory first. All right? I had bad credit. I never had a credit card, never. And um, you know, after I fixed my credit and I acquired a credit history and I got my score up to like the, the, the seventh at first, you know, it, it was game changing. All the doors opened up for me, you know? Instead of having to prove my income for either a car or an apartment, they didn't even ask for it, you know? So, this video is gonna be for people that do not have no credit cards, all right? I'll make a, another video for people who do. All right, but this is for people who do not have no credit cards, have bad credit or no credit. And uh, we're gonna start with the bad credit first. All right, bad credit. You're gonna hire someone in your hometown to basically um, challenge all your bad credit history, neutral history, everything, okay? Um, your inquiries, it's hard to challenge those. It is, you can get some off, but you're not gonna get all of them off, all right? So, my advice to you, to hire someone that does it at least twice a week, okay? Um, there is a place here in Corpus called Credit Solutions, and they have a rapid program where they do it. They challenge it every single business day. Now, cost, cost per penny, I'm not gonna lie. So, if people tell you that, oh, we can only do it, every 30 days or we can only do it every 45 days don't go for it all right so you anyway, know do what you can afford all right but wait till you have all your negatives off okay make sure they're good and you can tell if they're good after 90 days after 90 days if you don't see one thing off they're not doing their job get another place anyway so let's assume you go do that and um you got all your, all your uh, negative uh, balances off your credit report, okay? It's gonna be like you have no credit because you don't have no credit cards, all right? I'm putting my situation out there. And um, so this is where the no credit people come with the bad credit because you guys are basically the same except for the inquiries. All right, um, and the way to start your credit on a good, Foot to get a secured loan. That's right, secured loan. All right, there's a place called uh, Self, all right, that do secured loans. And uh, I have uh, another place I used to do, I can't remember the name right now. But if you're interested, PM me and I'll tell you, or put in the comments, and I can go look it up and tell you the name of these companies. Um, basically, they take out 20 to 30 bucks from your bank account every month, all right? This shows that uh, you're basically paying a secured loan. Uh, however, like mine, I got one for 10 years, okay? Because credit history is number one. You wanna show that you have a lot of credit history, all right? Anyway, okay, that's one. All right, you need a unsecured loan, that's number two you need to go get a prepaid credit card. Now, I'm not gonna talk about the credit card after a prepaid, all right? Because you need to bring your credit up first, and then we can look at Discover and everything else, all right? A Capital One Discover, cards like that. Prepaid credit card, you go to your bank or your credit union and you get one, all right? You put 200 to 500 to $1,000, depending on what you can afford. Now, basically, you're gonna be borrowing from yourself, but you have to pay back on time still. All right, usually after a year, the bank ups your credit a little bit, 
uh, without you having to put more of a deposit. But nine times out of 10, they're not gonna give your money back, okay? Uh, but you still get to borrow against it. And uh, as long as you make your payments on time, yeah, 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 you're good. All right, so do that for six months. All right, get a secured loan, get a prepaid credit card. Now, if you don't have a card payment, all right, like with a major place, I suggest you do. When I say major place, I mean a financial corporation. I'm not talking about a, a buy here, pay here place, okay? I'm talking about a place like Drive Time, which works for people with bad credit, all right? And, uh, you know, you go, but give them 500 bucks, you get a car, you get a payment plan, all right? And um, that will help your credit also. Now, you don't need to do that. You can just start with an unsecured loan and a, and a prepaid credit card, all right? There's also something called Boost. So if you make like Netflix, Net, I can talk, Netflix payments or your apartment payments, all right? There is a, a place that will look through your bank account and it will like calculate everything and it'll go towards your credit and it'll bump it up. Because it bumped me up like 16 points, all right? And this is a couple years ago, all right? So I believe it's called Boost from uh, Equifax. Um, if, if memory serves me right, don't quote me on that. But anyway, after six months of having just a prepaid credit card and, and a secured loan, all right, your points should be going up there already, okay? And then you can go and uh, apply for a Discover card nine times out of 10. If you're, if, let's say you bring up your score to, I don't know, let's say a, a 560, 570, all right? they will approve you, okay? You, but you still have to give them money before they can start. But the good thing with Discover is that the first year you get 2% well, on some things and 1% on everything, uh, cash back. And then after eight months or nine months, like me personally, I put $1,500 into it and they paid me back everything. They bumped my credit uh, up to instead of 15 to $3,000. All right, just recently they bumped me up again. So, but you have to make sure you make all your payments on time. And uh, yes, yes, when you have cards, it's best to make it before the statement date so you won't be charged interest and pay all of it off. But, there's a but here, all right? People can talk smack to me or whatever. As long as you make the minimum payment, you're showing that you're paying it. Although you are gonna be paying interest. If you can't afford it, don't strap yourself, okay? People are under their impression that everyone's saying, oh, you have to pay everything off before the statement date every month. No, that's why it's called a damn credit card, okay? <laughs> you need help buying clothes, you know, buying fuel, whatever, all right? So you give them a little bit of cash, make sure that you make that payment, minimum, okay? We're, we're not all rich, damn, you know? These YouTubers think everyone has all this cash like they do, or supposedly. But anyway, um, yeah, just do that. And at the end of the day, after the six months, you're, you know, you're gonna be gained up there, bro, or ma'am. <laughs> all right, so, you know, I wish you guys the best. And these are for people who don't have no credit or have bad credit. Okay, it worked for me. All right, it'll work for you. Peace, enjoy your day.